Okay, this video is to review the dimensional analysis that we did for the s'mores. So we had these measurements of a graham cracker and we had to convert from millimeters to inches. So you always start with a given which is 50 millimeters and then I looked over here and I saw that my equality to inches has centimeters. So I have to go from millimeters to centimeters before I can go from centimeters to inches. To do that, you have to use your King Henry. So here is centimeters and it's bigger and I only move over one step to get to millimeters. That's how I knew it was 10 millimeters was one centimeter. So down diagonal, I put the millimeters and then it was equal to one centimeter. Then I could put the centimeters and go to inches. The numbers in parentheses always have to be reference numbers. Okay, so since this, this is the given in the problem and then these will be reference numbers that like anyone in the world could figure out those numbers because they're reference numbers. We multiply the top and divide by the bottom and when you do that, the units cancel except for the inches. So what you would get is 50, I times across the top and times across the bottom and now I'm gonna divide 50 divided by 24 point, nope, sorry, 25.4 is 1.968 and we had three sig figs here so we're going to keep three sig figs there nine seven and it's inches okay we had to do millimeters to nanometers the equality had meters in it so i went from millimeters to meters using my king henry up here there's the base one two gave me to millimeters so I had a thousand milliliter, millimeters in one meter and units cancel so millimeters and millimeters cancels and then I went from meters to nanometers it was 10 to the ninth but a thousand and 10 to the ninth they can be simplified because they're exponents so the ninth will turn into a six because basically three of the tens will cancel with those three that are on the bottom so when I multiply across the top and divide by the bottom, I get 50 times 10 to the sixth, but that's not proper scientific notation. You can only have one number in front. So I write my answer as five with three sig figs, because there were three sig figs here, times 10 to the seventh, and the units are nanometers. Okay, micrometers, similar. Start with the given, 5.0 millimeters. I have to go to meters, 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Now I go to micrometers. One meter has 10 to the sixth micrometers. This is 10 to the third, that's 10 to the sixth. So 10 to the third and 10 to the sixth will simplify. I'll get five times 10 to the third micrometers. Okay. Then we had the volume. So you had to times all these to get the volume. 50 times 50 times 5. Gave me 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. Now in class some of you were going with two sig figs, which would be correct because we times. And that's going to be 1,300. Nope, 13,000. To convert to milliliters, it's a little tricky. So we got to go 13,000. Meter, millimeters cubed and my quality to milliliters well a milliliter is the same as a centimeter cubed so I just have to go from millimeter cubed to centimeter cubed I know that there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter so there are 10 cubed millimeter cubed in one cubed centimeter cubed. So that's your trick. If you know the regular, you can figure out either cubed or squared, depending on whatever the units are. And now we just multiply the top and divide by the bottom. Um, I think we're gonna get, oops, sorry. 13. Okay, oh sorry.